guys, welcome to the Jackie's Times 3. My name is Kenisa, and today we have a super, super fun video for you guys. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while and you see me do these sit down videos, we always hear Marley or Zoe barking in the background, and I threaten to put on their bark collars. I'm gonna insert some clips of them barking while I'm trying to talk. From an Amazon seller was kind enough to reach out to us and ask us to review their smart dog bark control collar so we will be reviewing this product today I have the windows open so what I'm gonna do is show you guys what the dogs look like how they act without the collar on and how they act with the collar on I'm also gonna give you guys some interesting facts that you should know about the collar if you're interested in getting to know about the smart dog bark collar definitely stay tuned for this video before we get into this video guys I don't know if you noticed but Marley and I are wearing our trouble shirts from the Doe Jerky's times 3 collection so my shirt says don't mind the old man groaning no matter where I go trouble always seems to find me and of course the old man Marley his shirt says trouble so if you're interested in this set definitely check us out at www.thosedruckiestimes3.com you'll be able to find this set and a bunch of other matching cute sets you can wear with your pup alright guys so let's get into the bark collar so first things first I want to just open up the box it comes in a cute little box and it does have some features I wanted to read the, in the back it has a smart anti-false triggering solution integration power max technology smart over voltage charge protection dual modes beep vibrate and beep plus vibrate plus shock they have a fast mode setting rechargeable battery with level indicators smart correction design better to protect your pup so, of course, for me, I do not shock my dogs. I do not recommend shocking any dogs. That is just not something that I'm willing to do, and I don't think that anybody should do personally, but that is just my opinion, of course. So, if you shock your dogs, you know, that's your business, but of course, I don't like it, and I don't think it's okay. So, I will not be demoing the shock portion. Um, in another video I've done where I've done a bark collar, I do not do anything with the shock portion because that's just not for me. So, what we'll be looking at is the vibrate and beat portion because I think with that vibrate, it'll scare Marley enough to where he won't bark. Because daily, I have a bunch of windows in my apartment. And so, I leave all the windows open and he sits there all day and waits for people to walk by and barks at them. So I definitely want to see how this works if it does stop him from barking. So let's get this bad boy open. So when you first open the box, this is what the collar looks like. I think it's super sleek and super cute. I do like the sleekness of this collar compared to other collars I've used that are not so sleek. All right, so I've taken the bark collar out. It's pretty big. Definitely too big for Marley and Zoe, but if you do have a bigger dog, this would work for your dog. And it does have a different leash. It's more of like a plasticky leash that comes with it. And it comes with your charger ports. I believe these cover the knobs that stick out of it, which I'll definitely be covering them because, again, um, I don't shock my dogs. So it does come with that. It comes with extra knobs for the shocking portion. This. Not quite sure what this is, but we're going to figure it out here soon. Marley's by the window now. I'm trying to see if he's going to bark while I'm getting this set up just so you guys can see the difference. But I don't really see anybody down there, so we'll see. Alright guys, so I don't know if you can see that behind me right there. But I am currently charging the collar. Um, when you take it out, they do recommend that you charge it and you are supposed to charge it with... A, as you guys can see behind me the bark collar is charging it is important to note that this bark collar can only charge with a 5 EV charge adapter so it would charge well on a like a mobile adapter or like a PC adapter so I am using my cell phone adapter with the charging cord that it came with to charge it if you do try to charge it with something else the collar will give you a Beep, beep, a beep warning tone to let you know that you're not charging it with the proper adapter. So that's important to note if you are interested in this collar. 
so also while the charges I did want to give you a little bit more information of course I am going to have all the information in the description box below and the Amazon link so if you are interested in this charge you can click that link and it will take you straight to the Amazon sellers um, page on Amazon and you can go ahead and purchase it there are a few things that you want to avoid you don't want your dog to wear this collar for extended periods of time you definitely want to limit the time that they have this bark collar on you don't want them to have it on for eight hours straight essentially so it should be about they should wear the collar at maximum about four hours a day so maybe if you're trying to train them not to bark for for instance Marley if I'm having the windows open and I don't want him to bark maybe I'll put it on him a couple of hours because typically if I do put the bark collar on him it'll calm him down the rest of the day to where he doesn't need it on all day so I'll definitely keep that in mind you don't want to have this on all day because if you if you do leave their collar on all day it does run the risk of injuring the dog's neck and we definitely 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 don't want to injure our dog while trying to train them so definitely just make sure you're using it for the appropriate amount of time so it's also important that you read the manual carefully this is the manual that comes with it I have been reviewing it you want to read this carefully before you put it on your dog and you want to make sure that you adjust the collar correctly according to the instructions on the manual also it's important when you're putting any leash or collar on your dog that you routinely check that area so you definitely if you're using this bark collar or any bark collar you want to make sure that when you take it off you just check around their neck make sure there are no sores no lesions their hair is not being checked or they don't have any redness so you definitely want to check for that and just make sure that your dog's neck looks healthy the skin looks fine because you don't want to again injure your dog having them wear the bark collar it's also important to note that your dog should never wear the bark collar while sleeping. Again, you want to limit it to a maximum of four hours a day. So whenever they're resting and things like that, go ahead and take the collar off, turn it off, you can recharge it. Um, this shouldn't be like a normal everyday wear charger. This should be a charger for training or a charger maybe if your dog barks at other dogs and you're going out and you don't want them to bark. Or if you're having company over, you don't want the dogs to bark the whole time. But this shouldn't be a charger that they put on in the morning and take off at night or they put on and never take off. It's not that type of collar. So make sure you know the difference between a bark collar and a regular collar. You don't want them wearing it all day. I can't stress that enough. Do not <laughs> leave your dog in this collar, this bark collar, all day. Four hours maximum. Do not let them sleep in it. Alright, and so it also is important to note that your dog should not wear this collar when playing with other dogs because they run the risk of, if they're barking and playing around with other dogs, being shocked repeatedly. If you have the shock owner having that vibrator beep repeatedly and it's vibrating and beeping repeatedly, then they're going to get used to it and it won't have such an effect. So if you're taking them to the dog park, of course if you want them to not bark, like for me for instance, when I get to the dog park, the dogs see other dogs, sometimes they get really excited. So I put their collar on as we're walking out of the car so we can get from the car to the actual gated park as swiftly and quickly as possible but as soon as we get into the dog park and we're in the area where you take off their leash before you open the door I go ahead and take off their bark collars because they don't need it on in there because they're in a fun space they're there to have fun so they can bark in the dog park you want to make sure they know the distance between when you can and can't bark I don't mind if you're bark barking in the dog park having fun with your friends I mind if you're barking while I'm entertaining people you know what I mean so or if you're barking while we're on a walk. So when they get into the dog park and they're playing around and roughhousing with other dogs, go ahead and take it off because you don't want it to unnecessarily shock them. And also you don't want them to get used to it vibrating and beeping. You want it to be a shock and they're like, ooh, I shouldn't bark. You want it to be like a correction, not something they just get used to and they don't care about. So those are all the points that I have on the bark collar. It is still behind me charging right now so i'm going to give it a few more minutes to charge hopefully we'll see something it's pretty quiet out today but now he's really barked about 30 times and he's just chilling nothing's really going on today i don't know because it's a little dreary day today so it was raining a lot um last night so i don't know and it's been such nice weather here not to get off topic but it's been beautiful weather in georgia so i don't know um now that it's kind of yucky out people are not out as much but typically people are out walking their dogs and when he sees other dogs walking he usually gets pretty worked up but nobody's walking their dog so I might have to do a different plan of attack where I go down and act like I'm going to the front door because he would definitely bark if I act like I'm leaving so will Zoe so I have to put her on another bark collar so she'll be quiet and we'll see what they do but yeah I'm thinking we may have to do another plan of attack if we don't see anybody oh I thought he was about to bark I thought he saw somebody if we don't see anybody soon so, anyways, um, I will get back with you guys once the charger, the collar is charged, and we'll go ahead and give it on Marley. Okay, guys, and we are back, and this is 
Marley is unbelievable. On the one day that I want Marley to bark, the boy hasn't barked one time. This literally never happens. He's always barking at something outside. It could be a leaf moving and Marley will bark. And he's just not barking. So we're gonna have to do a different plan of attack because he's letting me down. <laughs> I mean, he's actually doing a really good job, but he usually barks at stuff, and right now he's not even that interested. He was sitting up there on the couch for a while, but he got down. He's over it, I guess. days later but I did want to give my live thoughts and review on the bark collar so I will say this Marley and Zoe know bark collars by this point so when they see a bark collar they don't bark as much like for instance I wanted to test it on Marley because he typically barks a little bit more but as soon as he saw the bark collar and I fit it on him he completely stopped barking so I did do it with Zoe you guys did see the video so they're kind of used to bark collars but you did see that once she did get it on she of course didn't bark I did just have it on the vibrate I want to show you guys really quick all right so I just want to show you guys how it would work so I have it on here this is on the most here this is on the highest vibrate this is number five and this means vibrate if you do it not this one yeah. so that's number five if you turn it here when it's red that means it's on shock which I don't turn this option on because, like I said, I don't shock my dog. So, I'm going to turn it back to vibrate. It's on level 5, so what will happen is it's going to test it out on my arm. So, I'm going to do a little bark. It beeps. And then it vibrates. And then that's what it'll do when they bark. Um, like I said, the dogs are kind of used to it. So, once I put this on there, Zoe completely stopped barking. Um, but, yeah. It's a really nice collar. It's really well built. I would definitely recommend it definitely gonna use it again when we go out but again when the dogs see collars like this they already know what it is they don't like them because we have tried quite a few bark collars and you your dogs will get used to it too to where once they see this they know like if I even pick up the collar they stop barking they're like oh no I don't want to put that collar on but anyways if you guys are interested in this collar I will definitely leave the Amazon link below let them know I sent you if you go and purchase it definitely would like to thank you for watching those jerkies times three please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to our channel check out our Instagram and check out our website and we will see you guys in the next video bye guys